Find me an angle. Hmm. Let us make our way back up. This is block two. Oh look, the blue door that's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? What does this mean? See. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know.
You can reach the bowl now. Uh huh. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and see, stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. We really got to go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then... Adapt. I am. You want to try using your eyes? There's a room just over there. Boy.
Sure you can handle carrying that? Don't want you to be lagging behind when we get attacked. Remain alert and quiet. Boy, shoot. I know how it works. Same sandbowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here. Okay. Tricky. Very tricky. Oh! <laughs> 
Grow brother in Ovrik Munu the old. No, that can't be. What did it say? That we made a grave mistake. Did we help the wrong side? I let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine. In the light. Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Or now you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you, that's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? What else were you going to tell me about war? You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. You're back. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. We should look for more like this. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise.
have the light. To Midgard. It's crazy to think that all the realms exist in the same space. One on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seat saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, leaving a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring, owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Hey, Brock. You found something interesting. Did you now? Well, color me interested. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath or exploring? Your choice. Did you see something out there? That tower! I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Here. Boy. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down.
Hey, Brock. Could you take a look at this? What you got for old Brock? Holy Heimdalls! You know what this is? The heart of an ancient. The heart of a... Oh, yeah, well, that that's what it is. It wasn't easy to kill. Oh, really? Giant monster made out of rocks don't go down easy? Shocker. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven, like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Focus up. Soul Eater got him. Must have been part of that alchemist crew. No! ring while looting the body. Oh.
that severed hand? Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. I don't need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Stay quiet. We make no sudden movement. But where's the rest of him? Ashes, most likely. The Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Can you read it? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out... Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised.
Atreus, to me! I'm coming, I'm coming! What'd you find? You're an alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxie. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he grouped. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Oh, I'm not as interested as I thought. Come, boy. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happened? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Vega. And it hears you as well. Don't be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. 
The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm, but we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, Spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Disappear. Come, let us not be distracted. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs. Only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. Got another story? Very well. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. We will continue another time. Good. past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's cave. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning, the sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Good. We are done here. I still can't read these. Oh look! The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time.
Father, do you do you think I could carry her now? No. But I I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working. She was right. Come, let us finish this. Then we climb. You know, Mother said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Tiodenhan? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The mouth! We made it! More black breath. Stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. Nothing. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree doth know my call. Hmm. Focus up, boy!
in a cave? Weird. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. Runes! I can read it now! Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? That helps, right? Guess we have to go down and go up. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your folk. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. 